Hi and Assalamu alaikum. So in this video, I'm just going to continue on what I did for part 1. Um, I've already uploaded the first part, I think last week. So now I'm going to just continue with the second part. I'm just going to show how to um, do several types of questions for your quiz. So this one is the multiple choice question that I did in the first part. And now I'm going to ch show you other options. So you can just like, again, don't forget to turn editing on, on the top of the, um, on the right corner of your picker blast, or there's like another part over here, I think. So now let's just continue with the second question. Like an example, just an ex as an example for this. So click add, and then a new question. So let's try... Um, last time we did multiple choice. Let's try true or false. Okay, click true or false, and then click add. And then there you will have question name. Again, I'm just gonna go with capital city. And the question text is. Is the capital city of? Let's do it wrong, Sarawak. So the correct answer would be false, right? So you go down here. The correct answer would be false. If the student choose true. You can put a feedback, you know, like, you're wrong, something like that, okay? And then just click Save Changes, and there you have it. Now let's have a look at the preview of the question. So this is how it's going to look like. Put the pinabo is the capital of Sarawak, select one, true or false. All right, now close preview. Let's add another question. Click Add, a new question. And then maybe we're going to go with short answer. Click add. And again, capital city. The question text would be um, Kota Kinabalu is the capital city of Right, just leave it blank like that. And you can add in what are the answers. You can just add one answers or if you if there will be you know a lot of choices for the answers, you can just like write all the answers. So right now I'm just gonna write one answer. So the answer for this one, Kota Kinabalu is the capital city of Sabah. And don't forget to change the grade. If this is the correct answer, you can put 100%. In this case here, I'm just going to put 100%. But if you have like, you know, like um, a few choices of answers, let's say for this one, you want to give 90%. And then there's another answer, which is more accurate, will give 100%. Or if you think that you will want to give them a... Um, you can also do that if they answer it wrong you can just like give them five or ten percent so it's up to you basically it's your choice what you want to do so yeah for this part I'm just going to show you how to do this it's very quick and simple click on save changes and there you have it over here um, you can preview the question it will look something like this say for the Pinabello is the capital city of you can, um, the students will have to write their answer in the box. Okay, let's just do one more. Click add a new question. Um, maybe we can go with random short answer matching, or maybe matching would be easier and quicker. Click add, 
Still going to go with capital city. And then for the question text, you would want to do something like find the right matches or find the right match. Sorry. Okay. Basically for the question text is the um, instruction on what to do. And so question one, again, I like Kota Kinabalu so much, I don't know. So Kota Kinabalu, Kinabalu, what am I doing? Kota Kinabalu, so the answer would of course be Sabah. And then, um, what, Alusta? The answer would be Kedah. Uh, you can do more than three if you want. Just click this one, blanks for three more questions, and then see, this will pop up. Question four, question five, question six. So if you want to write until you know all the uh, all the states. In Malaysia it's up to you okay then save changes click save changes and there you go capital city find the right match click on the preview and this is how it will look like so the students will basically have to choose between the three answers over here right so that's how they do it right so now, let's say I just want to ask them four questions. Click Save. Okay. So, that's like only five points. So this is a very um, short quiz. Five marks. And the students, this is how they it will look like. Um, you go to... You go to quiz one and then you can preview the quiz. So this is question one and then next question two, next question three, question four, and question five. You're supposed to have five questions, I think. No, only four. Yep, this is correct. So then they will have to click submit all and finish. So basically you're done with doing the quiz. So if you go to course page, you will see the quiz over here. Okay, um, just in case, I just want to show you one thing that is also very important. So you've already, you know, um, set up a few questions. But let's just say if you want to know if you want to do another quiz and you don't want to you know have to retype the question again, what you're gonna have to do is just go under administration, go to question bank, just click on that, and then ta-da! All the questions that you did is already here, so you can just simply add in all these questions, all right, and add in your quiz without having to create new questions, okay? So I hope this helps. Thank you very much.